but not surprised. That's what neighbors are saying about a Buffalo girl and her boyfriend who are facing murder charges in the death of her father. Police say 17-year-old Alexandria Heath and her boyfriend, 19-year-old Romain Jardon, beat and stabbed Heath's father to death. Thomas Heath's body was found inside his West Ferry Street home Friday night. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley reports, neighbors say they noticed some telltale signs. This is a tragic crime. This is a 17-year-old daughter, her 19-year-old boyfriend, and uh, it, you know, it, it's just awful what happened here. 17-year-old Alexandria Heath and her 19-year-old boyfriend, Romain Giordan, are being held without bail after being charged with second-degree murder. Prosecutors say the two killed Alexandria's father, 58-year-old Thomas Heath, in a West Ferry home that the father and daughter both lived in. A neighbor uh, heard the commotion going on. They uh, called 911. The murder happened around 9.30 p.m. Friday night. When police arrived, they found the victim, but the teenagers had fled. District Attorney John Flynn said a full-scale effort by Buffalo police then tracked them down in a Buffalo home. Within a matter of hours, they were able to uh, ascertain enough evidence to put them both under arrest. Sources tell us that Giordan was well known to police because of several previous arrests. He was also known in the neighborhood. Yeah, he had a pocket knife. It was in his pocket. He grabbed it out of his pocket and was waving it at me. Just over a month ago, Christina Smith said Jordan threatened to attack her. One day we got to an argument and he walked up to me with a big knife and he tried to stab me. Neighbors told us they also had concerns about Alexandria Heath, who they saw as a wild child. We tried to help her. She lied to me and asked us for money and this and that. And then a few weeks later, she started going out with this boy, that boy. Plumbers and Steamfitters Local 22 told us the murder victim, Thomas Heath, was a 30 two-year union member who is remembered as a great guy who recently worked on the Riverbend and UB School of Medicine. Both teenagers are scheduled to be back in Buffalo City Court on Wednesday for a felony hearing unless the matter is waived to a grand jury. In downtown Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.